So you all remember Ginger, of course. The reason I'm not outside now is because it's really hot, and when I go out there, the lens is going to fog up. I will go out later, though. Like I said, it's really hot. Uh, long story that I'll try to make short. Oh, lion. There's a lion. <laughs> Anyways, um, I bought the car from her, as you remember, back in, uh, I think, November. Three weeks later, she passed away. She was 98. Wonderful old lady. Anyway, uh, her son, who was in his 70s, came. I think he lived out in Washington State or something like that. And uh, he came to sort of go through the house and see what was there. And it so seems the old lady also had a Lazy Boy recliner. And through some magic or something, uh, my dad was supposed to inherit that Lazy Boy recliner. This is no normal Lazy Boy recliner either. Uh, this is uh, one of those fancy motorized ones I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, we had to move that out of there. And today we went over there and we sort of had, for the most part, carte blanche in the house to take whatever we wanted. So I got a nice haul of stuff. So we'll start with the chair. What do you want? You want to rub on Daddy? Oh my God, he wants to rub on the camera. Well, here's the back of it. I don't really have a place for it yet, but I'm going to work on that during the week. And this is the rest of it. You can see here's one of the connectors. There's like four of them. It's motorized. This chair was almost brand new. She only got it a few months before she died. And legend has it that this chair was something like $3,500. And my dad sort of bequeathed the chair to me for whatever reason. So anyway, we got the chair. We also got this which has a sheet over it for now because I just brought everything in the house like I said it's brutally hot outside this is a Sony Bravia maybe 32 inch TV or something like that so that guy the lady's son promised that to me so I got the chair I got the TV and then I got some other stuff that is more run-of-the-mill bunch of spray cleaners here's a Clorox cleanup Lysol my dad just loaded this stuff up. Some sort of carpet spot remover. This looked, uh, that's uh, Murphy's oil soap. Metal polish. Knocks on seven. A can of Raid. Okay, I don't even know what's in here. He just loaded stuff up. This looked interesting though. Pledge revitalizing oil. Orange oil. Ooh. A fire extinguisher. Um, I don't know what kind it is. A chemical one, I guess. I haven't even looked at anything yet. A pack of scrubby sponges or something. Yeah, there's like scrunges. A bunch of CFLs. Um, there's these. These are Fight Feet Electric. Four pack of no wattage bulbs. Really? It doesn't say. What the hell? Oh, there it is. 60, I couldn't even see it. 60 watt replacements. These here are, there's four of them. These are 100 watt replacements, same brand. And then there were some other bulbs. I just, whatever was there was taken. This is empty, apparently. There is a Double Life Sylvania 75 watt, but it has a really big bulb in it. I don't know what it is. Let's see. 150 watt. I don't know if any of these work. There's a globe bulb. No idea. Another big in here. Probably another 150. Yeah, it looks like it. So there's that. Uh, can't even tell what it is, but there's a bunch of light bulbs in here. Some incandescent. An appliance bulb, maybe. Some of these may be burned out and the old lady saved them. I have no idea. Looks like another 150. And this is another 150, it looks like. So, a bag of bulbs. Before the lens fogs completely, lowest floating ball should be that. 
barely floating, so 95, so it's over that. And there's the top one that says 100. Oh, Chitaliano. At the way for Chitaliano. Garage AC is chooching. Listen to this thing. That thing is in labor. You can hear that from the humidity. And then there's a big, big bottle of Clorox cleanup, the white one. Two big bottles of uh, dishwasher detergent, brand new, and a bottle of liquid Dawn soap right there. Two big rolls of big garbage bags, so that was nice. Windex that was halfway filled, but there was a refill in the closet which filled it pretty much to the top. And then some foodstuffs. There's this stuff. I don't know if it's open or not. I guess maybe it is, but we'll see if it's any good. Bottle of Evu. Can of bug spray, vanilla extract. But take a look, take a look at these glasses. Got those just for the bar. And a couple spices here. There's a little bit of rosemary left. So I figure I'll take that. Over here we got some unlabeled, looks like uh, Chitaliano seasoning maybe. That's kind of what it looks like, either that or pure rosemary. There was a peeler. It seemed sharp, so I grabbed that. A couple cans of Perrier. Big thing of Reynolds wrap, so that's good. Some red wine vine gar, because I needed that. Cumin, cinnamon over here. Ginger to go with the car big thing of Herb de Provence. This is a score. I love Herb de Provence. A few cans of Perrier and I don't know if they still sell these. The glass bottle Canada Dry Tonic Water. Uh, some more off stuff. Bottle of hoisin sauce. A couple of sardine cans for the Wittens. And some mint candy from Passport Foods, which I've never heard of. I don't know, it just looked interesting. So that's kind of all the grocery store type sort of kind of items. So we'll just, we just stash that stuff back in there. That was that. And now in here, we have more of the stuff that probably more of you are interested in. Take a look at this mofo. It's friggin' metal tape dispenser. Holy crap. This thing is... Wow. Look at that. It's actually Scotch branded. Maybe you can see. Unbelievable. So there was that. Uh, crappy power strip, but they're always useful. A clip-on lamp with the CFL bulb. 60 watt, I think, in there. Not certain. A Monster branded uh, power strip and I took this specifically because I have one that's like four fucking feet long that I won in a thing from the Wiz. So that's kind of nice. Um, anybody knows what the hell these are. It looks sort of like a pair of pliers but that's what you get. You can read any of that. Made in USA. And it said something somewhere else on the handle Bernard. If anybody has any idea what that is, I'd love to know because I don't know at all. Uh, here's the remote for the TV, complete with batteries. And I definitely hit the power button and the TV turned on, so that's good. I'm not certain if the TV has HDMI or not. I didn't uh, get a chance to look at the back. It certainly has composite, component, and coax. I know that. Um, let's see, some, what do you call it here? C-clamps, little ones. 
this is the power adapter I guess oh I didn't know that I don't know if there was a cover on that and it fell off or, or not but apparently you can put a pair of 9 volt batteries in this power adapter for the chair this is for the chair here's the connector at the end and perhaps that gives you enough power to just lower it or something Here's a glue gun. I don't know, just looked interesting. Steinel, 40 watt, West Germany. So, took that. Uh, there's a vise in here that's really old. This is the remote for the chair, just to give you a better idea. There's lift and recline, which you can do from either side. See, there's a thing there, or you can press the buttons there. So this will stand you up. The back can go forward and back. The leg rest goes up and down. The head rest goes up and down. And lumbar support, the real deal here. And that has a weird connector on it, which is tangled up in here, so whatever. Old four-prong uh, phone jack with the Bell logo and this looks like an extender for said phone I'm not really sure I saw it so I took it um, somewhere I had another little neon um, uh, uh, night light but I don't know where that ended up a couple of bolts for the vice Another fire extinguisher. I don't know where the hell that nightlight went. Uh, it may have been left on the table there and I didn't end up getting it. That's a shame. But that was all that. But then I got two other things. This is a homebrew bench grinder. Custom bracket. Custom Franken-style switch. Look at that. Can you friggin' believe that? Plug. Tapes or something just horrible this was actually even with the rust this was still plugged in her husband passed away years ago and uh, this was still plugged in after all those years this motor I don't know anything about or a name on it it's filthy but the shaft on this thing just look at the balance on that. Can you fucking believe that? Italiano is home. The balance is amazing on this thing. And no, I'm not giving you a run-up now. The piece de resistance. A Kenmore automatic electric heater. You can see the elements down there. This looks to be from the 1960s. You have your thermostat here and you have off 1000 1320 and 1650 and you can turn it any which way you want it says booster element and that looks like a pilot light it almost looks like a button you could press but it's not big metal handle and a fan looks to be metal blades I have no idea if it works or not I do know that the plug had all the plugs in this house were in pretty bad shape so yeah that looks pretty wonky right there but uh, certainly a score I said to the guy we were there two weeks ago and I asked him if I could have this he said yeah he said I consider this thing to be a fire starter I said okay but it's vintage <laughs> so this is just awesome I don't know anything more about it the information says Kenmore our own trade mark model number 344 I think it looks like 700 might be stamped in there 720 can't quite tell used on si use on 60 cycle AC only doesn't say Hertz so I believe it's from the 60s volts 120 watts 1650 it looks like 
Serial number 361. I betcha it works. There was also a Holmes uh, small oscillating fan, 10 inch maybe, all plastic. It was very new and I just decided to leave it. Um, there was a magnifying lamp with a circline fluorescent bulb, but it didn't work. So I didn't take that. That may or may not have been for the taking anyway. Um, there was also a another fluorescent lamp, a halogen lamp I didn't want. And that was, I think, the most of it, really. There really was not a lot of stuff in there. Pretty cool house, though, but uh, this thing, this, this motor, well, it's a GE. All right, here's the information on it. I cannot see the screen. Hopefully, you can get an idea of what that says because I can't read it from here. But this thing, with its homebrew job, and the, I mean, come on. Like I said, this was still plugged in, and I decided to try the switch. It turned on, and I couldn't believe how nice it ran and how nice it sounded and I showed my dad I said dad I gotta take this thing I turned it on for him he's like holy shit that's nice and there was more stuff from a previous haul also from two weeks ago this thing of preen the jumper cables from my dad's there's some hex tools in here a bone wrench you don't see those too often um, some staples there's a staple gun in there some grindy and brush wheels that might fit that uh, thing and a toolbox a craftsman toolbox here and I don't know if I could open it right quick Let's see nope. socket set craftsman made in USA of whatever sockets are here uh, they're all SAE obviously and the screwdriver that just had a cool looking handle flat blade I believe it is and there was also check this out oh yeah a rotary phone oh, sorry I had to get down here uh, case is not something's knackered with it but the dial works Bayside 55274, the old label there. Uh, we were in Bayside, Queens, New York. Don't know if it works. Western Electric. I don't know anything more about it. 500. 2 slash 55, could that be a date of 1955? Possibly with the four prong cord and a jack. I have adapters for that. Uh, roll of weird tape here. I don't know what this stuff is. Has a backing and it's sticky. This is like a vinyl slash rubbery thin tape. If anybody has a clue what that is. A hose end sprayer and some other vintage three in one oil can and some other vintage things some uh, cable ties and stupid little shit like that that we got last time so that's the haul from the old lady oh also I forgot 22 inch uh, I'm sorry 22 watt 8 inch circ line bulb and take a look at this fucking brush it's a whitewash brush uh, I'll have to put it back in its thing nicely because I don't want to mess it up just to get it just because Where do you find those now? Really nice quality So with the food stuff I took whatever, you know spices don't really go bad Vinegar is just fine, you know stuff like that. I smell the olive oil. It's not rancid So I took whatever food was good the cleaning stuff you could always use the dishwasher detergent those are like seven eight nine twelve dollars a bottle whatever the fuck they get for them I don't buy that shit 
And uh, the Clorox cleanup, that's like fucking gold now with Calderona. These are a few bucks, so I got that. Pretty much anything of value that I took. This uh, bench grinder was just too awesome of a, of a thing to leave behind just because of the motor. Uh, like I said, one day when you least expect it, there will be a video on this grinder. There will be a video on that heater. And the chair, like I said before, the metal tape dispenser, the glue gun I didn't need, the lamp, I just said, uh, something says take it, it's there, and whatever surge protectors you could always use. The phone, one day there will be a video on that when you least expect it. And of course, Ginger herself that I got. This was the one thing I did pay for. But with 32,000 original miles and a V6 03 Camry, yes, I know the grass is well overgrown and that it's been too hot to even think about mowing. So it just has to be. But uh, yeah, Ginger, so I got that. Pretty good score from an old lady. And of course, let's not forget the chair, which was like 3,500 bucks worth. And the TV, uh, I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's just a TV to have. And uh, might replace the one in the bedroom, even though it is a CRT and does work. I, It's getting kinda kinda wonky, so. That might be in the future, so I figure I better grab it while it's for the taking. Anyway, that's going to pretty much do it. Pretty nice haul all around. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. And stay tubed, because like I said, one day when you least expect it, there's going to be videos on the TV, the chair, the grinder, the phone, the heater and maybe a couple of other items that are here. Probably that's about it. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.